class, we're going to continue working on the place values that we've been learning. All right? So watch me as I write this and think about what we're going to be doing today. All right? a second to think about it, and I'm going to pass the ball, alright? I'm only going to pass to the people I think are ready, alright? And I'm not going to say your name, so be aware, pay attention. What number is in the hundreds place? Four. Yes. What number is in the ones place? Three. Good. How about the tens place? Five. Good job. That looks like a list. You guys are really good at this. Alright, I'm going to give you another number. Now you're looking at the green number. Can you go a little quicker? Carrie. You're paying attention, Carrie. All right, what number is in the hundreds place? Seven. Good. What number is in the ones place? Four. Good. What number is in the tens place? Six. Good job. All right, we're going to get a little tricky on you guys. <laughs> you got to be quick. That's why you tricked me. I did it quick, like you said. Alright. Actually, no. I'm actually going to switch that up on you guys. Alright. What number is in the tens place? Zero. Good job. What about the hundreds place? Nine. Good. I was going to say nothing. What about the ones place? <laughs> One. Good job. Alright. Now I'm going to switch it up. You need to tell me the value of that number. What's the value of the nine? 
value of the 9? Not what place value, what's the value, but what's the 9 worth? 9. 9 is worth. If the 9 is in the 100's place, what's it worth? If the 9 was in the 1's place, it'd be worth 9. If the 9 was in the 10's place, it'd be worth 90. What's it worth there? 100. 900. Good. <coughs> nice job. Oh. How much is the uh, one more? If it was in the hundreds place, it would be worth a hundred. If it was in the tens, it would be worth ten. If it's in the ones place, what's it worth? <sighs> Can anyone help, Amber? Carrie? One. One. It's worth one. All right, I'm going to give you a new number. It's going to be tricky. All right. All right. I'm going to do it the same way. How much is the two worth? Thank you. All right, now I'm not going to write it. The number is 453. How much is the four worth? 400. Good. You guys are getting quick at this. All right, still 453. How much is the three worth? Oh, that's why I use a very soft ball. How much is the three worth in 453? That's right. You got me. You got me figured out. It's easy, medium, and then hard. All right, I'll give you a second to think about it. I can't see it. I can't see it. That's right, because you know what 3 plus 2 is, then you just have to worry about the place value. Yeah. Thank you, Marcus. All right. It's getting a little bit more complicated.
Siri. Dante. 370? 370? Five. Five. Nope. Last. <gasps> Nine. Let me see it. Five. Who can help him? Five. David, sit down. I'm not going to throw somebody bouncing out of their seat. Last. 350. Show them. Because five plus five equals ten. Mm -hmm. So if it was three hundred, you just add fifty, and then it's like then it's four hundred. Because um the one and the two equals three. But you haven't noticed because that's why you start in the back, and that's why you start in the back because you go like zero. Four plus five equals ten. Guys, okay, see, and you also carry the one. Okay, so two plus one equals three, and three plus one equals four, so it's four. That's right, four hundred. I think a lot of you got that. Did you guys that missed that? Do you understand where you went wrong? Somebody forgot to add to fifty, or somebody added too much. Good. All right, I'm going to try another one. We'll try one more. Oh, I'm going to challenge you guys. Don't worry. You know me. I'm only being too easy on you. At first, I'm like, why are they saying it's 350 or 300? Well, there's nothing wrong with making a mistake. That's yeah. how you learn. There's nothing mistaken because yeah. it's actually not wrong. You're just mistaken and not so because it's probably just confusing. Is this too hard oh. for you? Shine. Amber, you think you're ready for this? You got this? I trust you. Here you go. What's the answer? 20. Nope. <laughs> 15. I see you definitely have to go to the whiteboards and practice this more before we do our activity outside. That's your answer? Yeah. All right. Um, anybody else have a different answer? Mm -hmm. Carrie, come on up. Let's see what you're working. <coughs> what 
I'm going to have you do it on the other side here. Because I want to go through this. I want to see what we did. Still don't have it. Jalen, come on up. Hold on. It's not easy. Let's not say it's easy because that can make people that didn't get it right feel bad. Because it's not that easy. This is the hardest problem I've given you guys yet. But it's not kind of for me. This step. I messed up. I knew it. I know it. I'm trying to think what which way a six goes. <sighs> you made it. All right. I know it. See, I think we're gonna learn a lot from this because some guys are making similar mistakes. So Wait. I'm gonna do it over here. Then can you have a seat, Jalen? Can I try it? Not right now. So, as I'm doing this problem, think about where you think they went wrong, because then we're going to talk about it. All right? So, the problem is 705 minus 255. All right. And I start on the right side always. So, I subtract 5 from 5, which is 0. And I can't take 5 from nothing, so I need to borrow. So, that's now a 6. That's now a 10. I don't think they. 10 minus 5. Is five. Six minus two is four. I guess they didn't notice the zero. Alright. Zero. You gotta remember, zero is still a value. Carrie was close. If she was very close. Yeah. She, she, she was. She just needed a zero with that before. You just got it. That's what I was gonna say. Alright. Good, good. So I'm gonna start with this one. started out over here. He knew that he was going to have to borrow an extra one from there, but then he didn't follow through with his math. He didn't follow through with making that a 10 and just took 0 from 5. Well, Coyote actually didn't know it was minusing. Well, he just he told did. Yeah, but he didn't know that the 0 was. So now I would like my helpers, Marcus and Wes, could you guys get whiteboards, markers, and erasers? Pass one out to everybody. seconds to have fun with these whiteboards before we start. Get the wiggles out, get the funds out. You're getting a board. Jalen. Jalen. I got 
going to give him and I need to grab another one. tricky. I think you guys can get it. So work this out on your boards. Show me your work as you're doing it. Don't just write the answer. I want to see your thoughts. Show me your boards. No, I want to see them all at the same time. I want to see what everybody's thinking.
they got the 10 right, they forgot to carry over the 1 over the 10's place. Equals 10. Yeah, this right. is 5 plus 5 equals 10. So I did the 0, put down the line. 7 plus 2 <coughs> equals 9, and plus, plus one, 1 equals 10. That's correct. So Thank you. So you equal 100. You're a star. You guys are all stars. your boards and do the next one. Remember to show your work. I don't want to just see the answer, okay? I can't tell what you're thinking if you're not showing me what you're doing. on you doesn't mean I don't like yours. Everybody's going to have a chance. Alright, talk us through it, Carrie. What are you doing? I added 20 plus 80 and I knew that that equals 100. Mm -hmm. And then I took the 100 that was already there and the 100 that I made and I added them together and I got 200. Wow, does everybody see what she did? That was really good. Instead of trying to add such large numbers, she knew that 20 and 80 made 100. So she just added that to the 100 that she had left. That's a really good job. Thank you, Carrie. Anybody else do it a little different? Say, yeah, I like what you did. You want to come up and show everybody that?
so use your words. Tell us what you did. I, I did. I made um tall square blocks because I knew those would be ten, and then I added one hundred, and then I added the twenty, and I got two hundred. So you counted them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she used a visual. She knew that each one was worth ten, so she just made eight for that, and then twelve for that one, and then added them together. And 20, so that was 200. That was really good. Good job. All right, we're going to do another problem. It's going to be a little bit harder. Then we're going to go outside for another activity. Yay! 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 But can uh, we finish it um, quicker? Could we play for a little while? After hearing instruction, you guys need to remain quiet, all right? We need to focus on this next problem because it's going to be extra hard. The hardest one I gave you yet, but I think you guys can do it. I have faith. You guys think you can do it? Yes! Alright, erase your boards and get ready. Remember to show me your work. So I learned a lot from Taya showing her work and Carrie showing hers. time on this one because it's really difficult.
do this if they think they're done. Remember, even if they make a mistake, we're going to be positive about it because we can learn from mistakes. And I know that a few of the people do have the right answer. And a few don't. But that's okay because that's a really hard question. I haven't met here. I don't know if you guys have done a question that hard before. That's super hard. That's challenging a lot of the things you guys have been learning here. Show their work. I'm going to have three people. I want you to show your work, then we're going to talk about it. Okay. Same mistake, so it's going to be a good thing we're going over this. Got a volunteer that wants to do it? Okay, it's some of yours. Now guys, I want to look at the board, look at what they've done, think about what you've done similar. And remember, only one of these answers is right. Where are you at? You're doing the box. start with Cadence. Cadence, why don't you come on up and tell us what you did up here for your math. Everybody should be paying attention to Cadence and listening. Come on, Cadence. What did you do first? 
she's saying guys is the helper subtract 8 from 16 which she couldn't do in her head which is okay I can't do a lot of math in my head she made 16 dots yeah and then she took eight of them away which gave her how many class how many did she have left eight, eight. thank you David all right what was your next step then I put the eight down. Yep. And then I I couldn't take se seven away from nothing. I had a Well you weren't taking seven away from anything. You had a six that you were gonna take three from. So what should you have? One. One? You were so close. Guys, who can tell me what six takeaway three is? Coyote, what's six takeaway three? What's six three. Three. You want to put a three up there? So, guys, what's the correct answer? 380. 380. Raise your hand if you had 380. Yeah. See it over there? And Connor did a great job. I think he did the exact same thing. Yeah. And Connor showed his work. He crossed out the 7, put a 6, made the 16. I could tell what Connor was thinking. At first, I actually got it wrong. At first, my 8 was actually um, a 7. It was, actually. And what did you do to correct that? You checked your math, right? Yeah. And that's why I went up there a few times. But I come over and I have a seven on it. Caleb, what were you trying to do? Yeah. Yep. And you were using the block method that they had used, right? Heavy. Except. Heck, help, It's hard to use blocks when you have fives. <clears throat> so that means you'd have to done the individual blocks too, along with the tall blocks. All right, so if you're going to use tools, then carry. Can you show me what you did? Would you like purple? All right, all markers should be down because you should be paying attention to carry. solve a problem. Just because you do it differently, does that make it wrong? No. 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 Good thing you tried. I was so close the first time. Mm -hmm. And this is a really hard problem. So it's okay. And, and sometimes you get it wrong, sometimes you get it right. Walk us through what you were thinking.
and I knew that I, if I took away two, it would get me to five, and if I took away one more, it would get me to four, so I knew that I, it was 400, and then I went to 60, and I took away 80, and it, and it equaled 20, and I took away from 400 and I took away 5 from 5 and I got 0 <coughs> and then I took away 20 from 400 and I got 30. Okay, so what, okay. what Carrie did guys is she broke it up, separated each place value. She took the 3 from the 7 because it's in the hundreds place, it was 400. Took six, uh, 8 from 6 made that a negative number, because that means she needed to take that away from whatever her answer was. And then the 5 from the 5 left her with 0. So then she to take away her 20, she just had the 400, took away 20 to get her final answer, which was 380. 380. See, she did it differently, but she still got the right answer, which is okay. And if you didn't get the right answer, that's okay too. That was a really hard, hard problem. It just doesn't matter. Yep. It just doesn't Well, you guys tried. I saw some good math work, some good ideas being worked on. All right? That's really good. So now we're going to go outside for an outdoor activity. So what I want you to do is erase your boards. Erase it already. The center island here, I want you to pick up your markers, your erasers, and your whiteboards, and keep them. Line up, please. We need our jackets. We're going to need jackets when we get out in the hall.